All right, so this is kind of a quick overview on concrete screws, concrete anchors, tap cons, whatever you want to call them. They're just screws that go into the concrete wall like this. Okay, so um, you're going to have a few different sizes here. These are the most common. You're going to have quarter inch, and then you're going to have three eighths inch. Uh, for quarter inch, I would probably recommend it for like plywood if you have a hurricane coming, something like that, or if you got something pretty heavy. These are going to be just for, you know, basic anything. They can hold two by fours. Obviously, you're going to need a little longer one like this uh, to hold two by fours into the wall. Um, but besides that, with these quarter inch ones, you're going to want to use this right here. This is called a number three. Let me get that to focus here for you guys. So this is called a number three Phillips head. Phillips head is just the cross head. You get your number two here. Phillips head number three is going to be for these quarter inch ones. Phillips head number two is going to be for the three eighths. And then you have Phillips head one and then Phillips head zero. Those are going to be for smaller, maybe electrical stuff, whatever the case. Anyways, so moving along here, we also do have these. Um, this is for real heavy duty stuff. Essentially, these are, these are anchors that you put in the wall. You screw in a hole in the wall with a concrete bit. And then you put these big old, well, they're called lags in there. Uh, I wouldn't recommend them unless you're doing some crazy construction project. Uh, everyday use, this is fine. Also, for the three ace, you're going to be using three ace drill bits, concrete bits. And then for your one quarter inch, you're going to also be using a one quarter inch concrete bit, of course. Um, and now how you're going to drill into the wall is going to be with a drill. I'd probably recommend one of these because it does have right here a hammer setting. Some drills do have a hammer setting. Mine does not, so I'm going to be using this to get the initial hole in the wall with the drill bit. And then we're going to be using a little impact gun here, or you can just use a regular old drill to get the actual tap on it. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. So the mission here today is to put some tap cons right into this wall just to make sure nobody steals my toolbox. Um, they can be used for other things as well. I hung this with a tap con. This entire shed I built, this little mini shed, tap cons all across this board, tap cons all across this board. So let's get started here with the shed. And if you haven't seen my last video, guys, I completely refurbished this entire toolbox here. Had no locks. I mean, it was looking real rough, so I sanded it down, filled up some holes, painted it, all that good stuff. So uh, check out that video below. All right, and secure this to the wall. I'm going to bring you guys down here. So I got a metal drill bit on the drill here. We're going to drill through the metal first. Now, if you're doing this with wood, obviously you're going to want to use the wood bit. You're not going to want to use a concrete bit when you're drilling through metal or wood. Quick side note guys, make sure your metal or your wood drill bit is going to be around the same thickness here as your concrete bit. Now we're going to make our first hole here in the metal. So now we're going to be using our big boy drill here, one with the hammer setting as I was showing you earlier. And we're going to take our 3 8 concrete bit. And this is how you tighten it up on these. Just so gonna tighten it all the way up. Now make sure your drill is switched to the hammer setting. All right, so the holes are lined up now. It's time to put a tap con in there. And remember for the 3 8 thickness tap cons, works best with the Phillips head number two. All right guys, so we got her in there and she is secure. Shake this thing all day and it's not going anywhere. I always like to put one first and then drill a bunch of metal holes and then go back and then do the concrete holes. Uh, it's always good to get one in place that way. It doesn't shake around when you're trying to do it. Everything's going to line up perfectly. So let's get the rest of the screws in there.
simple enough, guys. I got a third one in there. So this thing is not going anywhere. So, I mean, the only way you're going to get this out is if you have the lock to this or you have a crowbar and a lot of patience and you're willing to make a lot of noise to wake me up. So uh, that's pretty much it. Again, I do have a video in the description. This toolbox was ugly as anything yesterday. It was all beat up, had holes in it. I filled the holes, painted it, fully uh, fully refurbished it. So check out that video. It's going to be pretty cool. I'll put a link in the description. Um, also, I have a lot of videos that I do on cars here, a lot of BMW work. We have a Honda Accord we're doing work to, electrical work like this, switches, lights, all that good stuff. So um, I'm sure you guys are really going to like my channel. I try and be as detailed as possible, so please subscribe and leave this video a thumbs up if it helped. Thanks.